Hello, I'm Steve Packer, plant doctor at Moana Nursery. I'm here to talk to you about how indoor plants help purify the air and also provide certain health benefits. Through scientific study done by NASA back in the 1980s that uh, show that there are certain plants that are better adapted to scrubbing the air than others. They call it photoremediation, kind of like scrubbing the contaminants and there are certain gases and everything. And on that list are a few of the plants I'm going to feature right now. Um, right here in front of me, these are two Dracaenas. And you know, there's different varieties. Sometimes people call them corn plants, but they do quite well. They don't need a whole lot of light. Here is a Chinese evergreen. And this guy I like a lot because he does really well in low light areas and he scrubs that air really good. Over here we have rubber plant and uh, there are several different varieties of rubber plant. I like them because they have larger leaves. We all know that uh, all plants take in carbon dioxide and give off oxygen which we breathe so that's just another health benefit of having indoor plants in your home. The bigger the leaf the more oxygen. And then behind me here are there are different types of uh, palm trees that do uh, a good job of cleaning the air. Over here, believe it or not, snake plants. And I like them because they don't require a whole lot of care. They can fit into a real narrow area and they're just good air scrubbers too. Another one I'm sure most of you are familiar with is this aloe vera plant. And uh, in addition to cleaning the air, you can break it off and some people use it for a little medical ointment for burns. Pothos, anyone can grow a pothos. I did when I was a teenager and I did a good job even though I didn't water it that well. So this is something that you can hang, you know, from your roof or you can put it on a table and let it trail down below. Uh, peace lily is another good one. Uh, the reason why I like this guy in addition to its benefit of cleaning the air is it provides a nice little pretty flower and it tells you when it needs to be watered by drooping. And so that's just something that you can keep in mind. And over here, this is a English ivy that, uh, again, it's another climber that you can have a trail over a table or just hang in the corner of your living room and have it be one of your good green friends. So those are just a few of the indoor plants that uh, can help out with uh, taking care of the VOCs, which are volatile organic chemicals that are in the air that, that plants help remove over a period of time. Now let me go ahead and talk to you about some of the health benefits of plants. Uh, it, through many studies, they have proven that plants help reduce stress. Wouldn't we all be happier with less stress? I know that when I walk into a room that has lots of plants, I just feel a lot better. The stress just kind of goes away and I'm happy. They also have therapeutic benefits with anxiety and depression. In fact, there are some doctors in England that, pres that prescribe potted plants for those people who suffer with depression or anxiety. Um, another good thing is plants help us recover quickly when we're sick. And that's why you'll see some uh, healing gardens at hospitals in the, uh, in the area. And so there's just all these different benefits. And so in addition to landscaping your yard outside, don't forget to landscape inside with lots of, a, of green, beautiful plants that help keep your air clean. And I'll have a lot of other health benefits that'll make you happy. I'm plant doctor Steve Packer, and I'm prescribing you a potted plant. <laughs>